Hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's ASMR Laura. Hope you're doing well today. I wanted to thank you for all of your support. I actually did just hit uh, over 1,000 watch hours, so uh, it is much appreciated. So please keep up um, watching my videos, commenting on your favorites, letting me know what you like, what you don't like, and keep sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, now for today's video, I did just get some new lip glosses. It's actually an entire pack I got from Target. So I wanted to try out the different lip glosses, see which ones I like. Uh, I also ask that you comment below, tell me which ones are your favorites and your least favorites. I got, like I said, an entire pack from Target. It's the Keep It Glossy Collection. So, I'm going to dig right on in. I'm going to start with the lighter colors first and do my best to wipe off the colors in between and see what they all look like. And again, I'll really appreciate your input, so please do share and comment below your favorites and your least favorites. different lip glosses to choose from. I said I'm going to start with the lighter colors first and then work my way down. So first, I'm going to make sure I have nothing on my lips before we go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to start with this red one first. It's nice and glittery. Pretty and sparkly. Actually, doesn't have different names for these, which is surprising. But we'll go with the lightest one for now. So that one's more clear of a color, doesn't give as much coloration. Definitely go a little bit more shiny than I'm used to. A little bit glittery in there, sparkly. Gives a nice shine though, but it shows off more of my natural coloration. So I actually like that a lot. I really like that one. It's a shame to take it off. Okay. So 
So we'll try for number two. So once again, no name on this, but it's a little bit more pink in coloration. Definitely still very shimmery and sparkly. So a little bit more pinky, kind of a nude pink coloration. This one smells almost like a little cocoa butter type of flavor. So, this one still doesn't give a whole lot of coloration to it. It's still very shiny and shimmery. You can see some sparkles in there. Actually, has a nice little cocoa butter flavor that I really like. But this one's still going to accentuate my natural lip coloration, just giving a slight hint of a pinkiness to it, but not much. It actually is still very, very natural looking, which I like. Just gives that nice sheen, a nice sparkle. So, moving on, I will take this lip gloss off as well. Yeah, so far I'm not even seeing the coloration on the paper towel at all. It's really just taking away that sheen that I had gotten. So, next we'll have lip gloss number three. Once again, getting a little bit more pink in coloration. This one's kind of like a peachy pink color. a little more pink on the video. It's more of a peachy pink kind of coloration. Definitely a lot more pink on the brush here. So Still very, very light in coloration. You can't tell much difference. Tastes really good like that cocoa butter again. That's going to be a recurring theme, I think. It's definitely a little bit more pink in coloration, but nothing too crazy. Definitely easy enough for me to uh, wear because I'm not used to wearing extreme colors as much. So it's definitely still just giving that shine. A sheen and glitteration. Glitteration. It's a large original, I think. Still definitely like this one.
getting a slight pinkish coloration on my tissue. So definitely getting a little bit darker, a little bit more outside of my comfort zone as we move forward. So on to number four. Definitely a much more pink. I'm hoping to get a little bit more color out of this one, just to show some of the differences. Oh, much more pink. Much more pink. Oh yeah, you can really tell that difference in the color on my lips. Yeah, you can definitely see much more of the pink. It's not so much my natural color anymore, but it's not very much outside the box. It's definitely more pinky, more pink than I'm used to, but I actually really like it. It's kind of like a pale kind of pink coloration there. Pink, pink, pink. Still very glossy and shiny as well. I could definitely see myself wearing this one. I did not know if I would, if it would be a little bit too pink for me, but I actually like it. <laughs> Alright, so number four is a little bit different, but something I like. Good to know. <laughs> Kiara's trying to photobomb. Definitely much more pink on my rag here. You want some? You want some lip gloss cakes? She wants to get all beautified too now. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be getting on to the left hand side now. The last four. Definitely going to get a little bit more wild and outside of my comfort zone. I think this one's going to look really pink. That's the one we are up to now. Very pink. Much more Barbie type of pink now. See how this goes. Nervous. Definitely shiny. It actually looks a little bit more purple on my lips, and I think the bottle even looks, the tube looks a little bit more purple on the video than it does in person, but definitely looking a little bit more purplish pink in coloration. Definitely outside my comfort zone. I feel like in the right context and with the right outfit, it could actually look really nice, but it's definitely something I would have to get used to. Not my usual. Definitely different. Def 
definitely getting a lot more coloration out of these lip glosses. Okay. So we're down to the final three. And these ones I think are going to be a lot darker, it looks like. a lot more of a red kind of undertone, dark red, almost brownish kind of coloration. Definitely a lot darker. I actually like this a lot and I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark for my liking. Um, the purple one is a lot, a lot more outside of my comfort zone than this one is because it still has that red base whereas the other is a lot more purplish. Um, I actually like this color a lot. This might be my favorite one actually. Um, if I'm wanting to go for kind of a different color, um, maybe for a night out, I actually really like this color. Um, I like that second and third lip gloss a lot to have kind of more of a naturalistic type of look, but I like this one a lot. I wish it had a certain name or title for you, but it's the red one in this Keep It Glossy Target Lip Gloss Collection. Love this one. So, we are now down to our last two. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one as well, because it kind of has a little bit of that dark pink-red type of base. But we'll see how it turns out. If it's a little bit more purple, it might be a little bit challenging for me. Um, this one here, I predict, is going to be pretty purple. So, we'll see how that one goes. face there for a second. Good. All right, here we go. This one's definitely really sparkly as well. Almost has kind of a fall auburn type of a tone to it actually. Looks so much more purple in the video. We'll see how, what it actually looks like on my lips. Here we go.
This one actually has a stronger smell. It smells really good. I don't like this quite as much as the last one, but I like this a lot. Um, kind of surprised, thought that it might have been a little bit too purple, but I did have good uh, good expectations. Just just was not sure 100% how it would turn out, but I like it. I think it has that very, very subtle hint of purple, but it really does bring out kind of those uh, more fall kind of colors with a hint of that nice seductive red as well. I like this one a lot. So, so far, two of our last four colors, which I was more nervous about, are my favorites. Alright. But here's going to be the moment of truth, our final one, which is really purple. Lips are going to be raw in this. So here is the most purple one in the bunch. Almost matches my shirt, actually. It's very purple. Very shiny and sparkly. Nervous about this one. very very purple <laughs> I don't hate it though it's a lot darker than I typically like but with the right outfit and for a night out I could see it actually being really pretty and really appropriate it would take a little bit of getting used to though this is a little bit outside of my comfort zone a little bit more purple than I like typically I do like more um, red and pink type of colors but I actually kind of like this color. I don't hate it. I was really afraid that I was going to hate this one, but I actually kind of like it. And I'm excited to find an outfit and an occasion to be able to wear it out. So overall, this has actually been a very successful box of lip glosses. Um, so several that are more of a nude type of base. Really good just to have that extra gloss on your natural coloration. A couple of really nice pinks. And then I really actually do enjoy the red here. It's definitely my number one favorite right here. And I really do enjoy our dark purple. The pinky purple right here, the lighter purple, is probably my least favorite out of all of these. And the first one doesn't do a whole lot for my lips or natural coloration, so I think I like the first two for the nude natural type of a look overall. I think it's a nice set, and I'm really excited to put them all to use. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, go to Target, get some of these, because they're actually really, really nice. And uh, comment below, let me know which ones are your favorites, and which are your least favorites as well. 
if you have any other lip glosses or lipsticks that you happen to really like, um, you can include that in the comments as well because I am trying to branch out a little bit. As you can see, get a little bit outside of my comfort zone, so I'd appreciate it. Take care, guys.